The video you are about to see is not a sponsored video in any way, shape, or form. Hey guys, it's me, Christian Cuber, and I wanted to tell you guys a quick story of how I got an awesome looking Rubik's clock. Uh, so a couple of days ago, a Speedcube Shop employee sent out this image. Being a lover of the Rubik's clock event, as I am, I immediately responded to this message. He quickly emailed me a new design for the clock face, which looks super awesome. He left me with the instructions of, Hey dude, thanks for testing this out. The file should be 402 pixels by 402 pixels. Also printed out on Google Docs. I cut it out using a cardboard box cutter to outline everything, and then I used an X-Acto knife to actually do the cutting. After importing it into Google Docs and not adjusting the size at all, I began cutting. After taking off the outer stuff, I quickly saw that it was going to be a little big. So I went into Google Docs and after many tries, I found the correct size for the design. I sent him a link to the document afterwards. So I whipped out my old knife and started cutting away at all the white by hand. It took like two hours, but I finally finished. So I went onto the trusty YouTube and looked up how to open up a Rubik's clock without breaking the whole thing. A couple of cracks and snaps later, I had the clock open and glued on the design to the front and the back, and glued everything back together. While I'm still not very fast at clock, this design looks visually stunning and I'd imagine would look even better if it is printed on better paper by the people over at Speedcube Shop. The recognition of the position of the arrows is actually better on this design. And I have to add, whoever did the graphic design for this did an awesome job. Overall, a very awesome thing to test out, and now I have a really awesome clock. He mentioned that he was going to be doing a write-up for Cam, which I can only assume is Cameron Brown, the owner of Speedcube Shop, and I hope he finds this input helpful. Thanks again for the people at Speedcube Shop for giving me this opportunity, and I look forward to seeing what you guys do next. As a side note, the Speedcube Shop employee also asked how I got the circles so perfectly round. I guess it's just my steady hand and the fact that I hand cut a lot of stickers for a while. Um, just sort of curving my wrist to the way the circle went and making sure I got all the white off of it. Um, originally I was going to use my Cricut uh, cutting machine to do it, but I figured it would take a lot of work to get the design scanned in and then uh, put it on the mat in just the right spot. So I ended up just hand cutting it in a really awesome way, um, which is pretty cool actually. I didn't expect my hand to be that steady, but it came out pretty well. Mm -hmm. 